Today we're going to be talking about how to draw a cut and fill terrace in plan. So let's begin by explaining a little bit what it means to create a cut and fill terrace. Now from these two diagrams you can gather that if this is our initial slope, we're going to take half of the earth and cut it out of the slope and then place it on the other side to fill it. And that's how we achieve this flat area in between. Now you can see that in this first diagram the difference in elevation between the initial slope and the terrace is quite drastic. Uh, and that would require a retaining wall. For the purpose of this exercise, we're actually going to try and avoid a retaining wall, so we'll continue to slope uh, before and after the terrace at 33%. Now the reason we're choosing to use 33% is because a 1 to 3 slope is the maximum recommended slope before you're going to need other types of erosion control or engineered solutions. And of course we want to maintain a 2% slope towards the downhill side uh, so that our terrace will drain properly. So let's note that here, 2% slope downwards. Now let's begin by finding our spot elevations. Because we are doing a cut and fill terrace, we'll start by finding our spot elevation at the center of our terrace. Now the scale that this is printed at is 1 eighth inch is equal to 1 foot, so I could go ahead and use a normal scale, but I find it easier to work with a quick makeshift one of my own, because I can move it around easier. So we're going to start by finding the middle of the terrace, which is at 10 feet, since we have a 20 foot width. So I'll go ahead and mark that on either side and we're going to put a spot elevation at this midpoint. Looking at my drawing, I noticed that the contour line 157 is actually very close to this midpoint. So I'm just going to decide to modify it and put 157 right here at this spot elevation. Oops, apologies. Now that I know my spot elevation at the midpoint, I need to find the spot elevations on the downhill side and on the uphill side. So we can use our usual formula, slope is equal to rise over run, and transform that to get rise is equal to slope times run. So we put in 0 0.02 for our 2% slope and 10 feet for our 10 foot run that we have from the midpoint to the edge. And that gives us 0 0.2 foot. So this means that there'll be a 0.2 foot difference between the midpoint and the edges. So for the uphill edge we have 157 plus 0 0.2 which gives us 157.2 up here and 157.2 foot up here. And on the downhill side we have the opposite so it's lower with 157 minus 0 0.2 which gives us 156.8 foot and 156.8 foot. Now that we have all of our spot elevations placed, we can go ahead and begin to modify the contours. So let's start by modifying the contour number 157. This one is the simplest one because we know it goes right down the middle of our terrace. So I'll just begin by drawing that out here. And from the edge of our terrace, I'm going to choose a 45 degree angle to bring it back down to its initial contour where it will reconnect. And we're going to do the same here. And I show it reconnecting with little tags at the end. So now let's turn to the contours on the uphill side of the terrace. And we notice that we have an issue because contour line 158 is going beneath the elevation point 157.2. Now obviously that cannot work, so we're going to need to modify that contour. Now we know the difference in rise between uh, the contour line 158 and the elevation point 157.2 is going to be 0 0.8 feet. And since we know that we have a 33% slope at that point, since we are in this area of our little diagram, we are going to take this formula and transform it again to get the run that we need. So have run equal to the rise over the slope, 
which is 0.8 over 0.33 in this case, which gives us approximately 2.4 feet. So I'm going to take back my little scale here, and I'm going to measure 2.4 feet. There. And then we can take our sliding ruler out and give ourselves a little construction line out here. So because we also want to avoid having a slope that'll be too steep along the sides of our terrace, we are going to give ourselves another construction line here so I know where the edge of the terrace is in this side and this side. And I'm going to go ahead and measure 2.4 out to the edge, 2.4 out to the edge, and then from that point I can go ahead and draw my 45 degrees back in to the initial contour line. And I'll mark again where it connects with some little tabs. Now you've noticed that since we've modified contour line number 158, we've gotten significantly closer to contour line 159. And if we check with the scale how much closer we've gotten, we notice that we only have a run of one foot between them. So that would be a one-to-one -one slope or a 100% slope, which obviously is way steeper than the 33% that we are after. Now when you're modifying between contour lines instead of between an elevation point and a contour line, it's actually quite simple. So for a 33% slope, we know that's a 1 to 3 slope, which means that for every foot we rise, we need to run 3 feet. So all I need to do from here is mark 3 feet up. Then I can go ahead and give myself another construction line there. And here we're going to take this side and find where that would be, that point. And then go three feet out from there to make sure that we're also maintaining 33% slope on the side. Right. So we have our connection point there, and here it runs straight into the existing contour line. So we can just end it where it runs into it. Now that we've taken care of the contour lines that are above the terrace, we're going to need to take a look at the contour lines that are below it. And once we look at it, we also find that we have the same issue that we had in the first case. So the contour line 156 is running above the elevation point 156.8. So we're going to need to modify that area. When we look at the rise difference between 156 and 156.88, we find that we also have a foot rise. So with the 33% slope, we go back to this same calculation, and once again, we get a 2.4 foot run. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure down from here 2.4 feet. And then I'll slide down and give myself a construction line here. And then, and then from this side, we have to do our edges again. So I'll mark where the edges find 2.4 feet. And go ahead, maintaining this same angle so that they stay parallel. Bring that back to the initial contour line. Alright, and now our last step is to make sure that there are three feet between contour line number 156 and contour line number 155. So as we check, we see there was only about two feet, so we're going to want to modify that. I'll make a point at three feet, and then just drag these parallel lines down here. So it's only a very small modification for 155. All 
Right, and now I've modified all my contour lines as they need to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and go over them with a darker pen so that the modifications are clear. So now you've created a cut and fill terrace with a drainage slope of 2% on the terrace and a slope of 33% above and below the terrace edges.